Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heidemann here. Today we are going to look at lesson nine. Today's learning objective is that you guys, students, will compare and order objects by size or area. So here I grabbed a handful of pattern blocks. I have the yellow hexagon, and I want to compare the yellow hexagon and find something equal in size to it. Well, another yellow hexagon, of course, matches up. The same with a green triangle to a green triangle, a orange square to an orange square, and so on and so forth. You can tell that these shapes are equal in size because if you place a yellow hexagon on top of the other one, they will match up perfectly. There will be nothing hanging over, nothing showing, just the yellow hexagon. So let's see how many trapezoids you can use to cover a yellow hexagon. We want to cover the yellow hexagon with a trapezoid, right? So let's see how many trapezoids it takes to color the yellow hexagon. So it takes two equal sized trapezoids to cover the area of the yellow hexagon. And you can see none of the yellow hexagon was showing underneath the uh, two red trapezoids. Let's take a look at another one. How many trapezoids, or excuse me, how many parallelograms does it take to cover the yellow hexagon? Well, it takes one, two, three blue parallelograms. And as you know from the slide before, it takes two equal sized trapezoids. Let's see about the triangles. How many equal sized triangles will it take to cover the yellow hexagon? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, and one more makes six. It's not perfect, but you guys can get the gist. So six green triangles, three blue parallelograms, and two trapezoids cover that area of the hexagon. Now that orange square, we're not going to use the same thing with the tan parallelogram. The orange square, I'm trying to fit two on there, that third one's overlapping, it's hanging off. It does not equally cover that hexagon. And that trapezoid as well, it will not cover that hexagon perfectly without hanging off, sticking over those edges. So which of these shapes, which of these pieces is the smallest? Well, it's the green triangle. The second smallest is the blue parallelogram. The third smallest is the trapezoid, and the fourth smallest, or the largest, is the yellow hexagon. So we'll be playing more around with these and investigating more with our pattern blocks and equal sized pieces and discovering more about the area of each shape. All right, boys and girls, that's it. See you in class. Bye-bye.